Hello, free to play gang. Welcome back to another video. So we have talked about the R pass yesterday, but I went, but I went a little bit into detail on this, and I have decided that it is completely not worth it to upgrade it to the glory stage as well. This is not worth it. So the thing is, this is a reset stone, right? Which resets the secondary attributes of your relic. But the thing is, you cannot guarantee it to become a good relic. So because it is not actually a cheat code, it's just essentially a free flawless relic again of the slot and the main stat that you want. But apart from that, I don't think it's really that game breaking of an item. I, I wouldn't pay for this, okay? And there is also something else that I forgot, which is there are actually missions assigned to this so in order for you to level up your r pass what you need to do is to do missions so actually yesterday i have spun a few times right in the echo but i have not actually collected all of these so that would amount to a few more r coin exp whatever it's called so it's just a little bit more rewards in my opinion right so the missions require you to defeat fafnir requires you to defeat apep requires you to defeat chronos spend stamina you know a lot of like the, the basic daily grind stuff that you would normally do anyway so that's how you level up the r pass so it's very different to the m pass now another thing thing is the free 100 stamina per day is going to be extremely good because of the current side event that we have which is also the origami love so this event requires you to spend a lot of stamina right this is really well known for being a stamina sink so for example over here if you spend stamina right you spend 60 stamina that's when you get one inspiration point so all your daily rewards would then amount to about two to three additional inspiration points which you can use throughout the day but one issue that most people faced with is that at the end of the event you are stuck with excess inspiration inspiration points which is like completely wasted because they do not do anything you cannot make any purchases with them so i cannot confirm if it is still going to be the case right i cannot confirm if we can actually like upgrade this so many times that we can consume all of our inspiration points because there isn't a shop as well so that's one thing that i noticed in the past which is they should have included a shop which they still did not this time around but i guess i can only confirm this as the days progress so for today's video we are going to take a look at the union academy i'm going to go ahead and clear these because i do understand from some people that it can get a little bit more challenging because everyone is doing the same thing and the requirements here are all completely scripted so like for example the damage that you're gonna do needs to be tailored perfectly so that you can clear it and because of that there is an actual solution to each of these problems now we're gonna take a look at basic cost exam so this is the first cost that is kind of like no hand holding right so for example over here all they have for us right is just to win right and we need to make use of the information that we have learned previously in order to beat this so essentially what i think this is all about is we just need to do an attack buff over here um maybe reduce his attack i i guess and uh we need to reduce his defense okay so here is the defense break he's not gonna be able to kill yeah so this is completely scripted right it's completely scripted that you need all this to land in order for you to beat it um and i guess that's it. So all of our espers will attack him and that should do it. Is this it? Yep, that's it. And this is the way that you can get really good rewards. So over here, we have a stamina pack and we have a summon ticket as well. Now the next one, <laughs> advanced costs. Okay, now we really need to get into the mind of the developers. What are they thinking? Okay, so we just need to win and that's it. Okay, they're going for my Mona. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, completely scripted. So what we have to do is, I think we should use our second skill here to give her a little bit of an immunity and so that she can gain her turn a little bit faster. It might help if you look at the bottom over here and you go into sequence mode, right? I think that should be a little bit beneficial. And here, obviously, we need to get rid of the defense buff. So we're going to go with a third skill. There you go, right? We dispelled it and we give them a little bit of a cooldown reset. And because they're going to take their turns next over here, we shall protect our Mona with an invincibility buff. Yep, there you go. Completely scripted. This is what scripted looks like, right? Okay, so because of that, I think that's it. What? Will this? Yeah, this AoE definitely clears it, so that's the advanced course. Pretty easy in my opinion. Now on to the elite course. Enter exam. Okay, so we are using Tang Xuan and Raven and a healer over here. We use their abilities wisely to inflict buff blocker and diseased on the enemies. Okay, diseased. Do they have a healer? Yes, they do have a healer there, so that's very important. So we need to buff block. All right, we got a buff block. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, and I think this is how we inflict diseased using Tang Xuan, right? There is no other Esper here who can do that. Yep, disease defense down. Perfect, so this was exactly what we needed to do. And we heal. She is kind of simple, isn't it? And then now we use our third skill here and that's it. This is basically it. Oh, not quite yet. I guess we use our second skill, give ourselves a shield. And it doesn't really matter if we lose any of our Espers, right? Yeah, I don't think it matters, so that's it. GG! And now on to the master course. Okay, this is a lot harder than it seems. I don't really know what the solution here is, but I'm pretty sure we will need to push our Liling up and we will drop our third skill. 
And we are going to use our sender because they are going to take a turn next. So we're going to use our sender to take out all the ads and this is probably scripted. Right, we crit, so that's fine. And this would not allow Kronos to kill us. If not, we would have lost one of our, uh, our, our espers at this point of time. Okay, so we're going to use our third skill this time. Do more damage, hopefully take out the ad on the left. Right, that did it. Okay, so that did it. Uh, and this should reduce AP, I think. Yes, we do reduce AP, so that's scripted. Okay, we're not going to use our third skill just yet. We are just going to use a normal attack because we want to protect someone, right? Okay, then we use our second skill here. And I guess this is it. Let's absorb AP. Okay, no problem. Okay, so we want to protect our sender. Alright, so we want to protect our sender. We're going to go ahead and give him the invincibility buff there. And Liling, normal attack. And we're going to lose our Mona here, I think. Nope, we're not, going, we're not going to lose our Mona here simply because this is the exact solution. Okay, so we're going to actually push our Mona up because she's far behind Kronos and I guess this is how we take the clear over here. This is it, right? Yeah! Big brain gaming! Okay, this stupid stage is super difficult, so we have to take a look at uh, every single one of the elite stages, basically. It's incredibly difficult. I'm, I'm really not sure what the, what the solution here is. We're going to lose our Suhua after using our buff. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll put her to sleep because she stuns on all of her skills. And I don't think we need to kill her. We need to kill the DPS ASAP. So we're going to use our second skill. Because we crit, we're going to gain another turn. We're going to take out the Lin Xiao this way. Yeah, that works. And yeah, we're going to put him to sleep. Oh, we do not put him to sleep. Never mind. Let's try to put her to sleep again. Yeah, okay, so I think that's that's it. Only the Jean here can be put to sleep. I think that's basically it. And here we normal attack. I mean, we just take him out ASAP and we should be okay, I think. Second skill into our third skill here. And we are good. Right. So we took out the Leon. And uh, I don't really want to do this, but we have to normal attack her. And we put her to sleep, dude. Okay, so his, his attacks will 100% sleep her. Yeah, so that's the scripting over here. And that's it. Yep, that's basically it. We survive and we beat her this way. So this is the solution. So the steward can only put her to sleep. That's it. Now moving on to expert cost 2. Wow, two epic ability mons. Fantastic. Really good for the Xiaoyin that I just found. Let's figure out how this works. Okay, what I think about this stage is that we need to target their DPSs ASAP. So I think it's going to be their Raven. I think that's the one. So we're going to try Biondina's third skill over here. Why does this Bandina do so little? We're gonna go with our second skill first, give ourselves a speed up. Yeah, she's gonna do a lot of stuff, right? But I think what's important here is we use our seer, our defense break. I think this is what we are supposed to do. Let's try this. Defense break. Not sure whether are we supposed to use our seer, but I know our second skill doesn't really do a lot. Okay, so this is our main guy, right? This is the guy that we need to protect because he's the one who does all the damage for us. So now that they have a ton of buffs, I think what we can do is... Oh, we lose our sender here. What we can do is to use our Raven, strip everything away. But yeah, go for the Long Mian. The Long Mian is dealing a lot of damage. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. We're going to strip everything. Then a defense break. Laura is probably not going to do much. Yeah, the Laura is not going to do anything at... Oh, wow, that was close, dude. Damage, nice. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Okay, so now we, we go for the whoever, right? Well, now your first skill don't do anything. Weird. Okay, so... Dude, I, I really hate it when they design stuff like this. Right, when they design it such that you cannot beat it unless you, you do like the specific move that does a tremendous amount of insane damage that don't even make sense at all. Okay, so the, here comes the buff blocker and... I don't even know whether this was optimal, but it worked. So this is a solution for you guys, I guess. Okay, now on to the last one, Expert Course Exam 3. Let's take a look. Okay, I think I'm on the right track now. So we strip first. The goal is not to make... The goal is not to make her lose too much HP. Because if she loses too much HP, she will use her second skill, which does a lot of damage. So that's why I'm giving Raven the turn. If I gave it to Tang Xian, Tang Xian would lower her below 50% and she'll use her second skill which does way too much damage. So from here, we definitely need the diseased, right? So she's not going to heal anything. And uh, we take out Mona. Right, we have to take out Mona here. 
because the second skill hurts and I guess we shield just going to AoE so we have to shield someone I guess I shield my Tungshen And now I use my second skill on her so that she tries to heal herself. Yeah, because she would have the heal block. The rest would take their turn before her. So because of this, I need to buff block. Because this asshole is gonna <laughs> use her buff. Like I think we should just go for Lucas because he's the only one who is problematic right now. Right? No buffs, no heals. He should be open. Man, this sucks, this sucks, this I need this to be up. Will I land diseased on my normal attack? That's what I wonder. Nope. Protect myself, I guess. There's no reason to protect Tungshen since he's taking the next turn. Drop our AoE here. Diseased. I don't think it matters now though. Defense down. Okay, 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 okay. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Uh, we need to drop this asshole. ASAP, ASAP, ASAP. Do we absorb the buffs now? No heals. Protection over there. Okay, so if that's the case, she's gonna use her protection. Uh, can I, can I kill? Can I kill with this? Stay the, stay the risk. Oh, we did- No way! Did we freaking do it? Holy shit! Bloody hell, all that for just a gold record, dude. This should have been a legendary of Billimon. Wow, this was so hard. It was so hard because it's so scripted. And it was scripted to the point where you really had to understand how to deal with the Mona because the Mona's second skill is incredibly painful. So I'm glad that we did it. Wow, it took me like almost an hour just to get this done, man. I, I had to think about this a lot. But yeah, so this is the solution to the entire Union Academy, or at least the stages that are a little bit challenging, right? But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content. Now with that said, this has been Daddy Free to Play, and as always, I will see you in the next video.